Hi guys, you're watching the Crazy Pop Vlog channel and I'm part of this side. So just recently I purchased four new eyeshadows from the brand called Pack uh, and I purchased this online from Amazon India website. So I'll be just doing a mini review of those eyeshadows and then I will continue on with the makeup tutorial of this look which you're seeing right here. So if you are interested then continue watching. So just recently I purchased these four new eyeshadows from Pack and it is my first time trying out the Pack eyeshadows. So yeah, I was searching for some particular shades and I decided to finally try out the Pack uh, eyeshadows because the, everybody had been raving about these eyeshadows and I'm kind of late into the bandwagon but then I was like, it's never too late, so I finally tried them out, and I'm kind of very impressed. So, the first shade that I added in my cart, I was really searching for the shade, and it's very really hard to find a red shade. So, I finally got the shade. This one is called number 15. Pack eyeshadows, they have numbers, they don't have names. So most of the makeups have numbers. So this one is number 15 and it's matte red and the pigmentation is very nice. Uh, you don't have to struggle to pick up the color. The eye makeup brushes, the brushes pick up the colors pretty easily and I really like the fact that these eyeshadows are not at all chalky. It's chalky, so yeah. I got uh, four eyeshadows. One of them is the red one which I just showed you. And the other one is number 27. This is a very dark brown kind of color. It's great for a nice brown smoky eye look. So I got this brown matte one, which is number 27. And the other one, uh, the third last matte eyeshadow that I got was the number one eyeshadow. This one shade name is number one uh, shade number. It's a uh, it's very really white kind of matte. This kind of great, uh, this kind of color would be great for uh, highlighting the brow bone and blending out the colors and great for blending so and uh, even uh, mattifying the whole. Uh, uh, what do you say for a base for the whole eyes? So it's great for that. And uh, the third one, I got a big eyeshadow because pack comes with. A, uh, two different sizes and the small one is 300 rupees and the big one is 350 rupees so this one is a big eyeshadow I couldn't find a smaller version so I got this this is number seven eyeshadow and it's a very beautiful uh, very uh, shimmery uh, kind of burgundy brownish color uh, it's slightly if in different light angles it's kind of purple kind of burgundy you know so it's pretty beautiful. I highly recommend this. This is and all these eyeshadows are very buttery smooth, soft, and pigmented, and uh, that's what I really liked about this. And these eyeshadows are not at all powdery because there's some eyeshadows uh, like high ends when they're very powdery. Sometimes it gets annoying because all the fallouts when you're applying your makeup, but these eyeshadows are not that powdery, so I really love that fact. Uh, so, yeah, and I highly recommend these eyeshadows. I was really impressed when I tried these pack eyeshadows, and you will really not be disappointed. And these kind of eyeshadows is great if you're a beginner as well and you want to try your hand in eyeshadow makeup. So these kind of eyeshadows are great and all you need is practice and you can obviously build your small collection to a big eyeshadow collection with these uh, uh, pack uh, eyeshadows. And they even have loose eyeshadows, those, uh, uh, what do you say, 
mattifying powder, compact powders and blushes and highlighters, so many even like lipsticks so it's great for a makeup artist as well if you're a beginner makeup artist and you want to build your kit so it's great for that as well so yeah I highly recommend these packed eyeshadows and you will definitely need uh, some kind of a magnetic palette to store these eyeshadows later on because even if the packaging it, you can store your eyeshadows in the plastic packaging that it comes in but still in the long run it would be easier for you to invest in a uh, eyeshadow palette and then just uh, store these eyeshadows there which is easily accessible then and makes it easier for you to travel with uh, and uh, Pack, uh, come, pack sells uh, magnetic palettes as well. They come in three different sizes if I'm not wrong. So you can definitely check that out. The one that I'm using is a very old Inglot uh, uh, magnetic palette that I got more than three years back. So I don't know if they're selling the Inglot one uh, these days. But you can definitely get the pack one from their pack, uh, web, pack main website or in Amazon India website as well. So I hope you like this mini review and now let's continue on with the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. I try to be regular in making YouTube videos and my passion is beauty so mainly beauty videos. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye. Hi guys, so first I use the uh, number one shade which is the lighter shade to just powder all over my eyelids just to set my eyes before I move on applying the other colored eyeshadows and then I'm applying shade number 27 just to make cat eye kind of line and I'm just taking my time I make sure I apply very little and build up the color and then I blend it out so first I just make a cat eye shape and then I blend and then I apply some more build up the color I just take my time I always like to start off with a brown eyeshadow for any kind of smoky eye look and then I move on using the same eyeshadow brush and apply the red colored eyeshadow on top of the brown eyeshadow just to create a more cat eye effect and once I'm just building up the color as you can see I'm just taking my time and slowly building the color and then I'm going to use another blush to blend out the harsh lines I had a nice time using these eyeshadows, my Real Technique eyeshadow brush easily picked up these colors from the back eyeshadow range and I really liked it and then I'm using the Sigma blending brush and just applying the lightest shade matte shade just to blend out the harsh lines and it's very important that for every, any kind of makeup, eye makeup look, blending is very important especially for a smoky eye look so I just take my time and I keep on blending and then I'm applying the number 7 shade using my fingers I would advise you to use your fingers for this kind of eyeshadow it's the best way to apply these kind of uh, eyeshadows and you can see the color payoff is so great I just had to only apply a very little bit and then I am just going back to the red eyeshadow and just applying it just to blend out the colors again and then I'm applying some mascara this was a gift it's one of my favorite mascaras at the moment from La Roche Posay and then I'm going to apply falsies these are one of my all-time favorite false eyelashes from House of Lashes the Heartbreaker lashes these are great for any kind of smoky eye look. It's great. It gives that really nice doll eye effect. So I'm using the other lash glue for this. 
and after I'm done applying my falsies I'm just going back with the concealer for my under eyes just to brighten my eyes and then I'm going to move on applying some more eyeshadow on my lower lash line I'm using the Pack Beauty Blender just to blend out the concealer and then I'm applying the eyeliner it's a brown eyeliner from MAC from their Modern Twist Kajal Liner range and I'm just applying on the outer corners of my eye line water eye line I'm just applying it a half not the whole uh, lash line since I have small hooded eyes by applying half on the outer corners of my lash line it's going to help open my eyes a little bit and it's going to give that illusion of bigger eyes and then after applying the eyeliner I'm just going back and applying the red eyeshadow I paired this red smoky eye look with red lips but you can always go for nude lips I decided to go for the red lips because I wanted to stick to the red theme so I hope you like this eye makeup look using the pack eye shadows thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new thank you so much for watching and take care